Welcome everybody, today we are in uh, Noordwijkenhout, the Boekhorst, and today we are going to do how to defend tactically well on the right side. And today we are here with Joep de Kroon, number 7 of the Netherlands and number 440 of the world and player of the Dutch national team. Yes, for the first uh, time this year, so yeah, let's see. That's nice, vamos. And we have seals on just huddle.com. I like it. You like it? Good match. Tip number one is play a lot of your forehands on backhands, especially straight. So if you was going to play straight, I cannot make an angle to him. And what especially works really well if you play straight to play high on my backhand. Oh, so if you place to my forehand, he's going to be under pressure way more. So you can also play cross, but then it would be better to play cross to the backhand. And the worst option is that you place to my forehand of the player on the right side. So this is going to play opening the court. So with most of the shots that Jupe is defending, he's trying either to play the ball so my contact point is lower than the net. Because if I have a high contact point, I can make an angle or to his partner. So if he's going to play this back into me, I can switch, which his partner would not like. So I need to be able to hit the ball very low uh, so I cannot hurt him or his partner and switch with fast to the body because then I cannot make an angle and have to play back to the same player. So if I get forehands, I can hurt Joop way more. He can play this angle if the contact point he has is very high, but not if it's low. Ugh. So if Joop is going to play cross courts a lot, so give me a lot of angle, if you play against a right-handed player, this is not a good option because you can give a lot of the angle away. If you play against a left-handed player, this could be a good option because the backhand is there and you have to turn a lot. So I have a lot of options. I can also play to the fence. Tip number three. Play your lob straight over the left shoulder of the left-sided player. This always works. The left-side player is mostly closer to the net. If this player is going to play the ball cross courts, they both have to move a lot. So after that, they need to move. If you play the ball deep on the left shoulder, this player has to move a lot in order to kick the ball to the fence. And if your opponent has an amazing kick, don't do this tactic, but if they don't, this works really well. Oh, nice. So this is all, this lob was very good because it was like a lower lob. So it did not give me a lot of time. So I think if you place, he does this one a lot. It's like a semi-high lob. So I don't have time to play the kick smash. I have to move a lot. Uh. Yes, nice. Tip number four, play Chiquitas in the center of the court to set up yourself and your partner. Nice. If you play the Chiquita to the center of the court, I cannot make an angle and also his partner can move to the net without any extra coverage that you need to take. If you make the angle, the court gets a little bit wider for the net players, so you have to move more if you're going from defense to attack. Tip number five is help your partner in the middle of the court. So if I'm playing cross courts and my rally is here, I need to cover my corner. So I cannot move here because my corner is open. So I need you to help me if I am struggling in the corner. So what I might do is play straight so the ball goes to my partner. 
your cross courts, I would say, touch the glass and you're defending the cross courts well. If not, go a little bit more to the center, maybe here, to help your partner because two steps for you and he can help me to defend the middle. Tip number six is play soft. Mix it up, but also play soft from the back of the court to slow down the game so you're both able to get into the game. Oh. This is complicated. So if you mix it up with the slowness, you're gonna win a lot of free points. Tip number seven is high and low, high and low. Sometimes you just need to slow down the game by playing high balls and then low balls on the same player. So if you attack, we mostly say attack one player. If you're defending, you also have to attack one player. So slow on my feet, high. Slow on my feet, high over the same player. Uh, oh, nice. Tip number eight, step in. Sometimes you should not use the wall because the ball gets more complicated after you use the glass. So what you should do on difficult shots, try to step in over the line. Maybe just one small step. Check how he does it. This is a normal shot for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 